Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your Windows XP computer is not starting up properly or will not boot. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be as your computer is turning on, tap the F8 key repeatedly, and it should take you to the Windows Advanced Options menu that you see on my screen. Using the arrow keys, if you want to go ahead to save mode of networking, you can go under there and then try different troubleshooting options like System Restore. And, you know, if you have to uninstall an application, you may want to consider going under there or just safe mode. Safe mode of networking just means that there's going to be an internet connection as well that you can connect to the internet. So if you're just looking to try a command prompt here to run a check disk scan, you can just use the arrow key to go down to safe mode with command prompt and hit enter. And I'm going to select the Microsoft Windows XP operating system here and give it a moment. And now into this command line window, type in chk, dsk, space, forward slash r, again, chk, dsk, then a space, forward slash r, hit enter. It says the type of the file system is NTFS, cannot lock current drive. Check disk cannot run because the volume isn't used by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. The volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Go ahead and just close out of here. And then restart your computer, so you may just want to consider powering it down. So let me just power down my system here. And I just turn the computer back on. Anyway, you can see it's checking the hard drive for errors. Do not tap any keys on your keyboard. You do not want to skip this disk checking. Just let it run here. It might take some time, so just please be patient. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point I should have been able to resolve your issues. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.